Hello and welcome to today's video. I am going to be diving deep into a new AI browser that I've got that um, I've been playing around with and first impressions are it is insanely powerful. Uh, it is Perplexity Comet. Um, so I was given access to that last week. Um, you can sign up to Perplexity by clicking the link down below in the description. But yeah, it's a really powerful tool. So essentially, it sits inside my um, in, sits inside my browser like this with the pane alongside it, and you are able to ask it questions about what is on the screen. So I prepared a few prompts that I've been looking at. Uh, on this and we can have a look and see how well it can uh, it can help us understand the Bitcoin chart and pr potentially predict where price may go so I think we can start off by giving some of the um, we can give some of the some of the interesting prompts so um, if we ask it to identify identify the current support and resistance levels levels for the Bitcoin chart shown on the screen. So as we can see, it's pulled up some some key levels of support here. So we can see some key support levels. So we can mark, we'll mark these in, and then this will give us an area to come back to in the future. So we had. So if I put in, we'll put support in green. Uh, so we've got one hundred fourteen thousand six hundred. See if I do this coordinates. Uh, we've got another one that we will put in for one 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 nine ten. And another one for one twelve seven hundred. You can see it's identified that as a zone. Uh, if we put in another one, one ten four hundred. Hundred and ten, six hundred. So, so we can see it's highlighted those as some some key areas. So we see that one fourteen is also a resistance level. So actually, I will move this to be an orange line for the sake of this chart. Um, we have. So if I go like this and make a red line and say one fifteen six eighty put another one in settings one hundred seventeen thousand and the final couple we have 117.800 and we have 120.270 and then we have one hundred and twenty three thousand to one hundred and twenty five thousand. 
So we can see we've got some resistance levels marked on and we can see where these levels have also previously acted as, as support. So it gives you a summary here of all the key points. So we've got an interesting, an interesting start. So I think we can now move on to, uh, move on to the next, the next prompt I have on my list. So we have identify current bullish and bearish chart patterns on Bitcoin on the four hour and the one day. So as we can see this will then list all of the bullish patterns that we've got. So we have a bullish engulfing over on this August 22nd. We've got Harami bullish over on the 16th you can see there. And it pulls out some of these bullish and bearish patterns. So we can see that we can see that this correlates back to a lot of this a lot of this pressure that we're seeing around here so and it will list it in this in this table for you so what next have we got on the list that we can look at to help understand bitcoin so highlight recent liquidity grabs and sweep zones So we see this sweep below 119,000 so we can mark that out as liquidity so we can see that this level between that between where we currently are has been labeled by analysts as as a uh, as a critical demand accumulation zone so we can see the upside sweeps triggering by from under 112 here <clears throat> so in terms of key zones to watch it has given us 111,700 to 113,000 so we can see that essentially covers that candle all the way up to here so this is a key liquidity zone for sweeps and then we can see above 117 into this area is also an area that it may look to sweep so what about then potential fair value gaps that we may look to fill so I would then put in give me a summary of current open fair value gaps if we reset the chart So it has given us this CME gap here. So we have 117 to 119. So I will take this. One seventeen thirty to 119,000. as you can see pushes up so we do have that gap there there's a fair value gap we have one at 
So it's given us that, and then it has also given us a downside FVG. of down at 110.505 to 112.700 so essentially where we have so if I take that out that box out this box here we can stretch down I will click settings coordinates so we have 112.700 all the way down to 110.505 and it will tell us here what the fair value gap was created by and what the potential trade impact would be so what could potentially go on next week that could that could be a catalyst for Bitcoin uh, so this key macroeconomic catalyst for Bitcoin next week. We can see pulls in all of the latest news. So we've obviously got Jackson Hole from last week. We've got things around the Fed. We've got the ETF inflows and we've got some US inflation data. We can also ask it a question around how it impacts the correlation with the S&P 500 so I would click on there so we can see correlation has surged notably with several sources highlighting correlation coefficient above 0 0.7 so both assets are currently behaving like risk on and it will give us a summary table here so we can see all of this what else can we use this for could we potentially use it for Elliott wave is a question I had so we can say generate Elliott wave analysis for Bitcoin on the daily We can see up here is where <clears throat> is where we would the Fibonacci extension. The primary target is one hundred and twenty three two hundred. So it will give you some key analysis there. So this is just a little bit of an insight into how we can potentially use it i think it's not going to replace my ta anytime soon i still like doing that with my own eyes however it is really interesting to get a second opinion um and to to dive that little bit deeper into into uh bitcoin and what is happening um and i think I think certainly integrating part of this into the workflow could be really interesting in, in how we move going forward. I will keep this chart here with these levels and we'll continue to adjust it uh, by only asking Perplexity Comet about how to use this um, and we can see where it goes from there but first impressions are I'm quite impressed, um, I'm quite impressed at how, how this has worked out. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this, drop a like below, drop a comment telling me any prompts you want me to try or any altcoins you want me to look at. And, uh, yeah, subscribe for more. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.